What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great Christmas weekend. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. Just wanted to shoot a quick one today and do uh, kind of uh, tips, tips and tricks videos on a couple of the uh, things that I have that I actually use um, you know, in the auto shop life, in, uh, in the mechanics world that maybe technically aren't tools, aren't mechanic tools. You know, some of the stuff obviously you wouldn't see on a tool truck and things like that. You know, you're not going to see some of these tools in the tool magazines and, and all that stuff. But these are tools that I use to kind of make my job easier or, um, you know, save money not buying certain things and all that stuff. So I kind of got a whole array of tools here on the workbench. Just kind of wanted to go through these things, show you guys what I use. Maybe, uh, maybe if you guys use some of them, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you guys have any things that you don't see here, throw it down in the comments, things you may use you know, in, in, in this industry and what you use them for. But uh, just want to go through it real quick and show you guys kind of what I got here. Some silly stuff that uh, actually saved me some time and saved me money too. Check it out, guys. Alright guys, so here's the array of things that I have come up with right now, kind of on the spot, um, that I use, you know, not every day, but, you know, use here in the shop, I've used for years, um, that, you know, technically aren't, uh, you know, a mechanics tool, you know, you don't see any wrenches or screwdrivers here, but this stuff, uh, you know, helps me work on these cars and, and it makes my job easier. Obviously, this being said, one of them, a sewing kit. Um, obviously, you're thinking, you know, what can you use a sewing kit for? But, you know, I've used these on the cars. Sewing fabric, seats, rips and seats and all that stuff. You know, I do I do fix that stuff for customers if they don't feel like replacing the seat or having it reupholstered. You know, just uh, stitch the rip back together. You know, and I also use it to sew buttons back on my pants, especially after holiday season, eating too much. You know, sometimes your pants don't always fit correctly after a four-day weekend. But... And then I got, uh, obviously, paper clips. Pretty sure, you know, electrical, you guys kind of know what these are for. Probing relays and things like that. You get them small enough. You could use these, you know, kind of in, uh, kind of like a T-pin. You know, these are, these I bought exactly for back probing wires, but, you know, paper clips, jump in a relay, what have you. They work great. And then, of course, you got your, your hemostats. I don't know if you guys remember my other video. I picked up these from, uh, Harbor Freight about a week back or so, but uh, you know these things work great for you know intricate electrical work. Um, you know the deeper ones, like I said, I've I've reached down into spark plug holes and and got foreign objects out of there that maybe fell or a bolt falls down an air box and you can't reach it. Pliers are sometimes too big. These things work perfect. Plus they they'll hold they'll hold stuff back if you need them to. You know we are we are car doctors. You know so these work great. And then I got the, uh, obviously, the nail clippers and files and, and things like that. These things are great for the smaller, intricate wiring work and all that stuff. You know, clip a small gauge wire back. Um, you know, I've used these a lot. Plus, if you get something under your nail, obviously, you could clean your nail out with it. But these work great. Got a couple sets in there. Use those. And then we got the, uh, the tweezers. I've used these also for, you know, electrical work, things like that, picking up smaller, you know, maybe dash work, picking up smaller pieces and all that stuff. Um, they work great. I got these. They're kind of spring-loaded. You know, it could hold a, kind of like the hemostats, it could hold a wire back or what have you. So, little, little long uh, tweezers. And then we got our dentist tools and picks. It's, you know, you could use them as scribes, whatever for some of the smaller intricate work. These are actually from a dentist office too. This side broke, I've had this for a few years. Um, but yeah, they work great as just normal picks. You know, getting that clip out of there or what have you. Pushing out a ter terminal pin, they work great. And then I got the smaller set too. 
And then obviously just normal old scissors. I've used these scissors. These things cut. This thing, these things will cut through a belt. Um, I'll actually show you guys. So I got this old belt here. Um, pretty thick belt too. It's a smaller one. I got these uh, metal scissors. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of scissors these are. Whether they're fabric scissors or whatever. But uh, they're pretty much antiques. I've had it for a long time. They got a little bit of a bend on it to kind of keep the uh, tolerances real close. Um, but uh, watch how these things cut this belt. Cuts it smooth. You get a couple snips in there, get a good grip on it, and I mean, it slices it right off. You could hear it crunching through the thick metal, but you know, you get these, these belts that kind of break off, pulleys fail on these cars, and these belts kind of fall apart, the older ones, and the little ribs get intertwined inside the pulley and behind the bearing and all that stuff to the pulleys. Sometimes it's hard to get out, you kind of just take these and, uh, you know, kind of snip it back. And uh, that way you can get all the belt pieces out of there and all that stuff so you can spin the pulley again. But these scissors come in handy. And then of course you got your speaker wire. You know I make, uh, I make test leads with them. Uh, this one's I've had for a while. You know just uh, solder on some alligator clips. You can you know kind of use them kind of how you use these. I got these out here for like comparison which you can use them for and you can make them any length you want. But speaker wire used for everything. I got all different gauges of it and all that stuff, always laying around, I always got speaker wire on hand. And then I got the uh, the phone charger, obviously inside the car, you know, checking uh, accessory fuses and things like that, or cigarette lighters, you know, customers say they don't work and all that, you just plug this bad boy in, it lights up, you know, I'll use this kind of as like a test light. I have other me I have other ways of uh, testing it, but you know this is still one that I may use here and there. I mostly use the Lyle one now. <clears throat> and then of course you got the the bungees. I'm sure everybody's got bungees hanging somewhere around the shop or somewhere on their service cart and things like that. Um, you know, of course, use this to hang stuff. Um, you know, when I'm smoke testing a car or whatever. I'll hang the hoses up out of the way or if I got a test lead going over you know a moving part or a moving belt you know I'll bungee it out of the way or even hold calipers up what have you bungees come in great come in handy and then speaking of hanging calipers I actually use these things um, to sometimes hang calipers and front end parts out of my way but these are actually for uh, for exhaust I don't know if you've ever guys ever done exhaust and you've seen uh, the way they hang them, you know, they stuff this end down into the pipe and, uh, you know, you can hang the exhaust. But I keep these to hang calipers and stuff like that. Works great, actually. Got a few of them. Five or six of them. And then, of course, we got the glue gun. Um, you know, especially for things that I do. I do a lot of custom dash work and stuff like that. I'll use the glue, hot glue to, uh, you know, glue back some fabric and stuff like that. You know, hot glue if, dries fast. Um, I've actually, uh, I've actually hot glued some a customer's mirror back on that didn't want to pay for a mirror and they didn't want the mirror hanging, so I hot glued it on. You know, used a bunch of hot glue and glued it back together. Fast drying, you got to worry about taping it and all that stuff. Worked out great. And then of course we got the uh, the wood burner. <clears throat> um, you know, works great. Obviously, not just for wood. Um, I use it to melt plastic back together sometimes uh, you know little clips break and all that stuff and you can't find them but uh, I use this I got I got this little end on there that I use to kind of melt the uh, plastic back together I'll show you guys how kind of how we use it I got this old uh, piece of trim from one of my cars that I actually did some custom work on and I, I no longer need it um, you know for the sake of the video I'm gonna try to break this thing see where it breaks and then we'll show you guys what I use the uh, wood burner for. You know, just on those plastics, you're pulling off a plastic trim piece and maybe one of the tabs breaks and all that stuff. I'll show you what I use this wood burner for. All right, guys. For the sake of the video, let's see if I get this thing to break right. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, All right, guys, so the wood burner's nice and hot. Um, obviously, obviously, when parts break, it's not like they explode like that, but you know, you get, kind of use your imagination, you, 
you get what I'm saying, you know, like one of the tabs breaks, breaks off or something like that, you know, you get a small little crack at the end or one of the corners bust off, I'll show you what I use this wood burner for. And I mean, this is not like a permanent fix, but at least it gets it back together. So basically kind of line everything back up. Got the back side here. Get you guys down in the shot here. And then you just take your wood burner, press it on the crack all the way through. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. Pinch it together and make sure it's staying, staying where it's supposed to be. And then just follow the, the crack. You can see, kind of go here. It's got a little of a contour on there, so try to follow the contour. And I like to give it, it's got this little tip on here, it's like a star, I like to give it a little spin to get all the plastic to melt back together. It's like a fun puzzle you got to get back together. Strengthen up this piece a little bit. So yeah guys, I ended up just putting the whole thing back together, but you kind of get the gist of it. You know, obviously, you know, if you accidentally break a trim piece or something like that, you got to order it. You know, it's a special order, you got to replace it for the customer. At least you could kind of, you know, you ain't got to wait for glue to dry. You could kind of get it back together and pop it on there um, it, until you guys get the part in stock to replace it for the customer or what have you. You know, if it's a plastic tab, uh, you know, wood burner, work, it works out great. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys maybe know this little tip, but you know, it's solid. I could drop this thing You know none of the pieces come off. I ain't got to tape it off and worry about glue and all that stuff It, it melts the plastic back together instantly So it's just a quick tip on the wood burner guys And then of course we got this little tool um, I forgot where I got this thing. I've actually had it for years um it's to, I use it to get stuff out of my eye. Um, this end's got a kind of like a blunt little thing and it's magnetized. So if you, you know, you drop a piece of metal in your eye or a piece of rust in your eye, you kind of just rub this on your eyeball and it sticks to it and gets it out. And then the other end, you just got to make sure you keep it clean. And then the other end's got a little uh, fishing hook on there. So you can kind of, you know, if it's, it's not metal, if the foreign object in your eye is not metal, you can kind of have another guy hook it or go go into a mirror and kind of hook the stuff out of your eye. This works great. So that's it guys. Quick lineup of some of the tools. These are just some. I probably got a whole bunch more of uh, you know, things I use and tools I use here at the shop that aren't technically mechanic tools, but you know, use anything to get the job done. Um, you know, if you got sewing skills, obviously, you know, Maybe sew that customer seat up for them, you know, make them happy, all that stuff. Obviously do it, ask them first, but uh, you'd be surprised how many times this thing's came in handy. Even, you know, sewing a rip in my shirt, things like that, comes in great.
So yeah, guys, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, not everything needs to cost a whole lot of money. You know, not everything, not every tool we use, you know, we're going to get from a tool truck or, or a tool catalog. You know, sometimes just walking through the fabric store, you know, you find stuff that may help you do your job, you know, more efficiently, quicker. Just some tips out there. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that you guys use. Like I said, leave them down in the comments for everybody to see, you know, kind of the weird stuff you guys use day to day or, uh, you know, the stuff you guys use to make your job easier. You know, this stuff has came in handy for me. I mean, this I've been using, uh, obviously bungees are, uh, you know, something that you could find pretty much anywhere. You know, you might find bungees on a tool truck, obviously Home Depot, Napa, everybody's got bungees you could use. It's a universal tool for anything, but, um, you know, substitutes to that, you know, anything else, like the little metal hangers, or if you guys made your own little hangers and things like that, you know, customized tools, that's a whole nother video. Um, you know, some of the tools that uh, I've had to make to uh, get the job done right, you know, whether it's cutting a wrench and, and welding it to a pipe and things like that, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I got a few of them too, maybe we'll do another video on that. But just wanted to do a quick one for you guys. Hope you guys are having a great holiday. Like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.